Today's special episode of the Infographic Show was suggested by Muhammad A, who asked us via email, what are dirty thunderstorms? If you've seen photos of volcanic action over the last few years, especially the Eyjafjalla Jökull volcano in Iceland, you may have seen photos of weird lightning inside the volcanic debris. Actually, you probably didn't see many photos of lightning in the eruption of Eyjafjalla Jökull because, compared to other major eruptions, it had relatively few instances of this rare occurrence. We really just wanted to make our narrator say that name twice. Appreciate it. Iceland, though, is a great place to observe dirty lightning. Not only does it have Eyjafjalla Jökull volcano, which blew its top in 2010, but it also is home to other equally famous volcanoes, such as Tunjafels Jökull, or Theistaria Karbunka, or Brennestensjörg, or even Kotlotadinkja. All real volcanoes we randomly selected, and not ones we specifically picked to force our narrator to pronounce. Narrator note, those should be close, I think. The reason dirty thunderstorms are so common in Iceland is because of all the volcanic activity, and that volcanic activity is what's at the heart of a dirty thunderstorm. Normally, a thunderstorm generates lightning via the collision of ice crystals inside it, which generates an electric charge. If the storm is potent enough to last, then after a while entire clouds become electrically charged, with the positively charged protons at the top of the cloud and the negatively charged electrons at the bottom of the cloud. Since opposites attract, the negatively charged part of the cloud becomes attracted to positively charged bits of the ground below, though lightning can also flash between different clouds. Two charges, one coming up from the positively charged ground and one coming down from the cloud, then connect. And much like in romance, when the two charges connect, sparks literally fly at temperatures reaching 54,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Because volcanoes spew up huge clouds of debris in the form of ash and lots of water vapor, trillions of particles all bump into each other, generating one heck of an electrical charge. Ash clouds tend to be more concentrated with floating debris than a cloud of ice crystals, so often the dirty lightning we see inside volcano ash plumes can be much more intense, which makes for some pretty amazing pictures. If you're the adventurous type though and want to see dirty lightning for yourself, you can travel to Japan, which is home to one of the most active volcanoes in the world. A statistical anomaly, the Sakurajima volcano in Japan is well known to host frequent dirty or ash lightning events given its frequent eruptions, and a simple Google search will reveal dozens of jaw-dropping photographs of this extremely rare natural phenomenon. While you can't create dirty lightning at home without having your own huge erupting volcano, you can do a neat science experiment and create lightning in a bottle with some common household items, and see how lightning as a phenomenon works for yourself. First, get an empty jar with a metal lid and cut a piece of aluminum and fold it into a square 12 inches long and 12 inches wide. Fold it twice more into a smaller square and then shove it into the bottom of the jar, trying to get it as flat as possible. Next, take a dryer sheet and poke several metal thumbtacks through the dryer sheet with the head of the tacks facing toward the bottom of the jar. Then place the dryer sheet over the mouth of the jar and screw it on the lid. This should leave the sharp, pointy tips touching the metal of the jar's lid. Now, you're going to need a source of electric charge to generate your miniature lightning bolt. Get a car battery and strip a pair of jumper cables so they're bare. Just kidding. That's overkill, and it probably will shock you so bad it'll make your teeth pop out of your skull like popcorn. Instead, just get a regular old balloon and blow it up. Then rub the balloon vigorously on your head until your hair is standing on end. This will mean that your balloon is brimming with charge. So next, just touch the balloon to the metal top of the jar and voila! As long as your balloon has enough charge, you should see a quick flash of homemade lightning. For best results though, you probably want to turn the lights off and the flash will be even more impressive. Of course, you can always book a ticket to beautiful Iceland and try to catch a live volcanic explosion and the resulting dirty lightning for yourself. With volcanoes such as Bartabunga, Hromendatintur, Snæfellsjökull, and of course Eyjafjallajökull, as well as many more. If you hang around long enough, you might catch some dirty lightning in action with your own eyes. Got a question only the infographic show can answer? Let us know in the comments or send it to us via email. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great content.